Apples by Gail Gibbons. An apple is a fruit. It grows on an apple tree. Apple trees grow in more parts of the world than any other fruit tree. They have been in existence for about two million years. The first American colonists brought apple seeds and seedlings with them from England. A seedling is a very young, small tree. As the colonists moved westward, they brought apple seeds and seedlings with them. Some settlers found that Native American Indians had already brought apple seeds west and had apple trees growing near their villages. Many times during the early 1800s, John Chapman traveled throughout the wilderness of Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Indiana planting apple seeds. Also, he gave seeds and seedlings to the settlers there. He became known as Johnny Appleseed. Some apples are grown at home, but most are grown commercially. Each year, about 250 million bushels of apples are grown in the United States, and about 28 million bushels are grown in Canada. A group of apple trees is called an orchard. An apple is a firm, crisp, fleshy fruit with a hard center called a core. The core has five seed chambers. This apple is a Macintosh. Stem, skin, seed chambers called carpels, seeds, fleshy part, core. In the springtime, flowers called apple blossoms begin to bloom on the apple trees. Each blossom has to be pollinated in order for an apple to grow. The blossoms are usually pollinated by insects or by the wind. Pollination happens when a grain of pollen from a stamen lands on the stigma of another blossom. Pollen, stamen, stigma. After a while, the blossoms begin to die and apples start to grow. Throughout the warm summer, the little apples grow bigger and bigger. During the late summer or early fall, the apples ripen. This is a golden delicious. When the trees are loaded with ripe apples, it is harvest time. Workers pick the apples by hand. Some are shipped to stores. Some are used to make apple juice, apple cider, apple jelly, apple sauce, and lots of other apple products. Some are sold in baskets at roadside stands. During the fall, it is fun to go apple picking. Also, there are country fairs. Awards are given to the best looking apples, the best tasting apple pies, and the most delicious applesauce. There is apple cider too. During Halloween, there are caramel apples and candy apples. Some people bob for apples. When winter arrives, the apple tree branches become bare. The trees will become dormant until the next spring. 
when the trees will produce a new crop of apples. Dormant means alive, but not actively growing. Apples have many tastes, ranging from sweet to tart. All apples are different shades of yellow, green, and red, or a mix of those colors. Some common apples grown in North America. Rome Beauty, Macintosh, Jonathan, Stamen, Red Delicious, Golden Delicious, York, Granny Smith. Which one is your favorite? Can you guess mine? If you guessed Macintosh, you are right. An apple tree will not grow apples until it is about five to eight years old. Each spring, the tree branches are trimmed. This is called pruning. Most apple trees grow to be about 20 feet or six meters tall. The soil around the trees should be fertilized. The pruning and fertilizing helps produce lots of good apples. How to plant and care for an apple tree. Step one. It is best to plant seedlings in the fall. Step two. Dig a hole that is big enough to give the seedlings roots room to grow. Step three, after placing the seedling into the hole, add topsoil. Step four, pack down the soil to give the seedling support. Step five, water the seedling. It will need about 10 gallons of water each week during the first few months after planting. An apple a day. Make your own apple pie with the help of an adult. Step one, place dough for the bottom crust into a pie pan and trim off the edges. Step two, peel and slice six to eight apples. Granny Smith's and Jonathan's are good to use for apple pies because they are tart and stay firm when they are baked. Remove the cores, put the slices into the pie pan. Step three, mix one half cup brown sugar, one quarter teaspoon salt, half a teaspoon cinnamon, and one quarter teaspoon nutmeg. Sprinkle mixture over the apples. Step four, put a layer of dough on top. Pinch down the edges and remove any extra dough. Poke little holes in the top. Step five, bake for 50 minutes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. They are good for you. Here's how an apple cider press works. Step one, the apples are dropped into the hopper where they are cut up. Step two, the apple pieces drop into the tub until it is three quarters full. Step three, the press handle is turned and the apple pieces are squeezed, forcing cider through a cloth filter. Step four, apple cider flows into the tray and then runs into a container. Press screw handle, blades, hopper, tub, tray, filter. There are thousands of varieties or kinds of apples. Golden Russet, Tompkins King, Suncrisp, King David, Ozark Gold, Prairie Spy, Wagoner, 
Honey Gold, Newtown Pippin, Molly's Delicious, Liberty, Keepsake. They are nutritious and delicious. Apples, apples, apples. The smallest apples are crab apples. They make good apple jelly. The most popular apple in the United States is the Red Delicious, which originated on a farm in Iowa about 1881. The states of Washington, New York, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and California produce the most apples in the United States. Johnny Appleseed was born in Leominster, Massachusetts and died in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Some people say, when they like someone, you're the apple of my eye. One apple, the Arkansas black, is reddish purple and becomes nearly black by the end of the season. The apple blossom is the state flower of Arkansas and Michigan. There are over 7,500 varieties of apples grown worldwide and 2,500 varieties grown in the United States. If you store your apples in a cool and dry place, they can last for months. The Macintosh apple was introduced in 1870 in Ontario, Canada. A monument marks the site of the first tree. Also, the Canadian provinces that grow the most apples are British Columbia, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Ontario, and Quebec.